Alright, hello and welcome back to my Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones playthrough. Uh, today is my birthday, so I'm playing as my favorite house, House Greyjoy. Uh, we do not sew. So the spoilers in this episode will go uh, up until season, uh, the start of season 2 of the show, and up until Clash of Kings, uh, around like uh, one third through the bookish, uh, around there. Uh, so get the fuck out if you're not that far. Welcome back everybody else. Uh, so what we're going to do today, we're playing as the Greyjoys, here is Balon Greyjoy. Uh, the uh, Lord and soon to be King of the Iron Isles. And uh, if you remember from the show and the books, uh, Rob Stark sends Theon to the Iron Isles to present an offer. Uh, Rob Stark will uh, allow Balon, allow Balon, uh, to call himself King of the Iron Isles um, and be fully independent as long as he helps him destroy his enemies and invade the West, which is right next to the Iron Isles. Which is a pretty good deal, but Balon Greyjoy is notoriously a fucking idiot in the show and the books and declines his offer. So what we're going to do this time is accept it when that offer comes our way. So as soon as Theon visits here, which he'll do in a couple of days here, I'm going to accept this offer and it's right here. It seems like a fair offer to me. I'm going to get my own, thr my own throne and me and Robb Stark are going to fight the same enemy. So either way, I'm taking a land, a more profitable land in the north, and I'm going to, you know, get the same crown that I'm going to get either way. So instead of invading the useless north, I'm going to invade the very, very rich west. So I'm going to raise my troops here, raise my fleets here. Uh, the important thing to realize about playing as the Ironborn in this game is that ships seem useless because there's no naval battles. But what's really good about the ships is that you can use them as a quick exit point, a quick evac. So what I can do is just raid uh, areas here on the shore. And then as soon as one of the, the enemy Lannister Doomstacks comes near me, you know, like a group of like 10,000 or more, I can, you know, just dip out of there. And so it's not hard for me to just take cities and move on. What is also nice is that the AI doesn't really realize what they're doing. And since I'm at war with them, Tywin will try to send troops to the Iron Isles to attack my castles. And as he does so, he can only ferry, since he has not as, nearly as many troops as I do, he can only ferry uh, like a, maybe a thousand, you know, fifteen hundred troops over to the islands at a time. So every time he lands those troops, I can just sit here and pick them off constantly. So it's a really nice way to win the war and take the West uh, when you're playing as King Balon here. Um, so I've got some cool generals too as the Iron Isles. I'll have Prince Theon too, uh, my son. He's a decent commander. And I'll have my brother, Victorion here, who's my ace in the hole. Uh, for people who don't read the uh, the books, he is Balon's brother who was cut from the show. He is supreme badass. He No man stands against against Victorion Greyjoy. He is a fucking G amongst G. So I'm going to name him my champion. Um, so I'm going to get my troops ready to land on these western shores here, and I will cut back once I've named my generals and am ready to launch the invasion. So join me then. Alright, so here we go. I've uh, cut back here now. Um, see, this is what I'm talking about here. You can kind of play chicken with these Lannister troops, because they just landed uh, about 1,200 troops. 2,000 now, which is even better. And I can land them right here on the Iron Isles, and I have 12,000 troops who can travel by sea wherever I put them. And I'm the only person pretty much in this game, aside from the Free Cities, who can do that. And so these 2,000 here, that's the most he could ferry to the Iron Isles in one trip. So I can easily just wipe him out right here, which is what I'm about to do. Even though another 1,000 landed right next to me, it's not going to make a lick of difference. Because I just defeated them, no problem. And uh, wow, even they got defeated over here. So now I can go here, wipe out another 1,700 troops, and already be well on my way to winning this war. Uh, so we'll see what these Westerland troops do once I get here. It looks like they are routed quite handedly. That's what, you ha that's what happens when you face 12,000 Ironborn at once. So now I can go back to my ships and I can travel back to the mainland of the of the Westerlands until they send more troops back to the west. In which case, once they send more troops back to the west, I can attack them again. And here they are already. Uh, 1,000 right here, so I'll send them right back here to get attacked. I'm going to send them here. Um, when you attack the shore directly, you have kind of a terrain disadvantage. So what I'm going to do is land here at Harlaw Hill and then attack right here at Volmark. And they'll be completely and utterly fucked. So watch this. And they are dead. And the Victorian Greyjoy is leading this host along with Dagmar Clefjaw, who was in the show and the books, as well as uh, I think Dunstan Drum is my uh, yep Dunstan Drum is my other commander. So I can clean up these troops here, and we're already 15% at the seat down here, 15% against Tywin towards winning this. Um, so if I'm lucky, maybe Euron will come back and help me out too. Uh, if you're watching the show, you'll know all about Euron, uh, and you might know that maybe it won't be that lucky if Euron comes back. Maybe that won't be to my advantage, but it would be cool regardless. Uh, so we're going to send this this ship over here. So I'm kind of winning this war just by playing defense, which is nice. 
And it's helping out Rob Stark a shitload too because Tywin is diverting all these troops to fuck with me and Rob Stark, I haven't looked yet, I'll look in a minute, is probably fucking with the Lannisters immensely. Uh, so that'll go towards both sides right now. Uh, so I just won that battle. Uh, so now that they've been fucked off from the, uh, the Iron Isles, I'm going to go invade the mainland and cut back. Alright, so I actually didn't en even end up invading the mainland because they keep attacking here at Volmark. Like, they think that's going <laughs> to accomplish something. So I've just been constantly retreating to the ships and landing back here and just wiping out these little stacks of 2,000 and 1,000 that keep sending me. See, here's another one led by nobody of random land. And it's working out perfectly because I can just keep attacking them back and forth. So if you ever play a game of this as the Greyjoys, this is the perfect strategy to play with versus almost any enemy is play the islands. Uh, either take an island that they control and then wait for them to take it back or just let them invade you at the Iron Isles because they don't have enough ships to ferry enough enemies to actually pose a threat to you. The most, because they have maybe like, uh, you know, 2,000, or, uh, I'm not sure how many ships it translates to. Because I think they have like, uh, you know, like 20 ships or something like that, and that does not translate to a lot. That's like 2,000 troops, 20 ships. Um, and meanwhile, I have 241, so I can transport as many goddamn troops as I please. And so meanwhile, I'm just racking up these, like, minor battle wins. And, oh, look at that. During the battle, you fearlessly charged ahead on horseback directly into enemy ranks. This is uh, Balon Grejo we're talking about. Members of, the, of your personal guard riding behind you tumbled off their horses, um... Okay, so yeah, we just routed the enemy basically. Then we got 100 prestige by killing basically all of them. Uh, so that's what happened. And now I can keep, I can take out this army of Sir Devin Lannister. Maybe if I'm lucky, I can capture him, get some Lannister hostages, and see. I'm already 45% of the way down here against Tywin, and now that's 50%. So I am just racking along. I even have enough to. I can go down there. That's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to take out these 3,000 here at the Bane Four, because there was 12,000 there, but they keep sending them to the Iron Isles to their doom. So it, just, he's just making it very easy on me, and now I can just go right here. Uh, let's see, I can I can select my troops. Yep, they're on their way. All right, so I can just go right there and fuck the main host. And yep, they are dead as disco. There they go. And the battle of gold pick is done, and I am already well on my way at 56%. And I can take out these 2,000, which is going to help me a lot more too. And see, these 9,000 are coming to get me, but they can't get there in time. That's what's awesome about playing as the Greyjoys, and that's why they're my, not only they're my favorite house in the lore of Game of Thrones, but they're my favorite house to play as in this game because you can do shit like this. You can just play the guerrilla war tactics. And so these 2,000 here are fucking dead as Dillinger. They're done. Oh, yeah, uh, Roderick. Roderick Harlaw died, my brother-in-law. What a shame. A natural death. It comes for us all. And I'm not sure who the new Lord of Harlaw is. Let's take a look. Ooh, if it's Harris Harlaw, that's going to be badass. Uh, it is. Nice. That's one of my most badass fighters right there. Three-star fighter with a Valyrian sword. I will take that. He's the new Lord of, uh, of Starfall. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I thought I would cut back right here because um, the game alerts me of uh, major world events like this. Alistair Thorne is now the Lord Commander on the Night's Watch. So people who are familiar with the show and the books... You can take solace in knowing that Alistair Thorne is now protecting the realms of men. All right, so now as far as my playthrough right here, there's eight or uh, 600 troops here um, in uh, what do you call that? Se Sealskin Point attacking, and there's these 200 troops here in uh, in Volmark attacking. But they don't even have enough troops to siege a castle, so you know what it's time for. I'm gonna go right for the head Kahuna right here and try to siege Casterly Rock because they don't have enough troops to do anything in the Iron Isles anymore. I've exhausted almost all of their troop reserves, and this is what they have to defend the rock, these 1,300 and these 3,000 here. And that's not nearly enough against 12,000 Ironborn killers, led by Victorion Greyjoy, the badass of all badasses to end all badasses. So what I'm going to do is attack the rock. I'm going to attack the rock, no fucks given. No single fucks given this day. And the battle is commencing. Let's see how she goes. Oh, the game is auto-saving, so... This will give me a good backup point if I get my complete ass kicked right here. Let's hope I don't have to do that, though. Alright, so that was very handedly won. These 3,000... Oh, my God. Okay, so Alistair Thorne wants me to help him in war. How about fuck yourself? I'm the Ironborn. <laughs> what are you even sending me a raven for? That's an automatic no. Alright, so I can uh, siege Casterly Rock here. I'm going to attack these troops at Case first, just because that'll give me a good war percentage instead of just waiting here. Uh... 
Yeah, sure, that helps me. Why not? All right, so I'm going to attack these troops right here. Uh, looks like, oh, he's ferrying some to attack my whatever. He ferried like a thousand of those off to the Iron Isles, who are going to do no good whatsoever. Um, so, yeah, this is the number one tactic to really play when you're playing as the Ironborn. It's just play your ships. It's your strength. It, I mean, oh, this guy. All right, so what I'm going to do now, they've got 3,000 over on the. Uh, over in my actual homeland. Um, that's not enough to threaten me, but it's enough where if I take him out, it'll help my war score immensely. So what I'm going to do is sail right back up here, which only takes me like a week, which is what's amazing too about these ships, is I can just basically teleport my troops wherever I need them. See, right here, I'm already here before a siege can even be really attempted. And uh, if anything, I just gave him more time, more time to ferry troops over. And uh, and now that the troops are here, I can fuck them and get even more of the war score. I might even be able to get up to 90 or 100 percent based on this battle here, because I'm taking on 3,300 troops. So this is going to be, I think, close to the biggest battle of the war so far. So this will be nice. Uh, another one of the Ironborn died. I don't give a fuck. All right, so victory at the Ten Towers. That'll put me at 73% on the war score, which is very, very nice. I'm going to take out these troops and then go right back to the Westerlands. All right, so I've just been fighting battles here on the Iron Isles, and look at this. Stannis has won the Iron Throne. He defeated the Lannisters and uh, took his rightful claim. Uh, the Greyjoys might be my favorite house, but Stannis is my favorite king. So I'm kind of I'm glad for this. Not necessarily in, in this playthrough, because he is not happy with the Ironborn. Uh, but he won the Iron Throne, so Raylor now controls, which actually will help me because since Stannis is now, uh, you know, with Raylor and Melisandre and the Red Priest, a lot of the locals are not happy with him. So Stannis, when he's king on the Iron Throne here, actually has a lot of trouble raising troops because he has that foreign god. Um, so that'll help me out a little bit because once he actually decides to come fuck with me, he's going to have a harder time with it. And this guy, I don't know who you are. You're not coming into my court. Sorry, bud. Um, so that'll help me out a little bit. It'll buy me a little bit of time because I'm still dealing with the Lannisters who are also enemies to Stannis still. So me and Stannis still have common cause against the Lannisters. So it'll be a while before he comes to fuck with me. Uh, but he will fuck with me eventually because I have taken part of his kingdom and you guys know Stannis. Um, so I'm going to still fuck with the Lannisters because if I fuck with the Lannisters and win this war, I will take the West from them. So the West will be part of the Iron Isles. So that's going to be huge for me. All right, so apparently Mace Terrell, who is down way the fuck here, found people pillaging in his lands and now wants recompense for it. I'm going to pay him 14 gold. 14 gold is nothing, and I can easily pay that without consequence. But he can go fuck himself. I'm a goddamn king. Who are you, Mace Terrell? We are the Ironborn. We follow our own way. Thank you, game. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to siege Casterly Rock, because fuck Casterly Rock and fuck Tywin Lannister. So that is now under siege by 12,000 troops, and there's shit all that Tywin Lannister can do about it. He's got 2,000 troops here led by Sir Adam uh, Marbrand, I'm assuming, uh, over here in uh, in Volmar, but that's not even enough to siege the castle. Once he has enough to siege the castle, uh, <laughs> the castle, I'm S Sean Connery, oh, I was about to say Sean Connery, but here's the important part. <laughs> He's got 9,000 troops here in case, and they are completely and utterly fucked. As soon as I march there and win this battle, I might win the war because of this. That is the bulk of his troops right there who are about to get fucked by me. Ooh, and here's a single combat. Um, Sir Tyrion of Nobody's Land. I'm going to fight you in single combat. This is Balon Greyjoy. If this guy thinks he's going to live, he is already he died almost instantly. You don't fight Balon Greyjoy in single combat and get away with it. Not unless you're a real badass. So now I'm fighting Melwyn Sarsfield in single combat, and he is going to get the dick as well. So get ready for that fucking Greyjoy dick. It is coming. He's putting up a good fight, though. If you're watching these pop up, it's basically like a duel. Uh, so strike again. I killed him. So I just killed uh, the Lord of Sarsfield, uh, Melwyn Sarsfield, in single combat. So that was cool. Uh, so I'm still fighting these 9,000 troops here. Here, I can highlight the battle for you so you guys can see what's going on here. Uh, they're out of generals. We killed... That was their last general they had left. So now it's our generals against all their lowly peons. And they are routing. They are running for their fucking lives, as they well should. So that is a good battle for me right there. And I'm going to chase down his troops, too, and make sure they don't escape. Oh, shit. Okay. Yep. Make sure they don't escape because they're going that way. Okay, until further notice, I'm going to siege Casterly Rock right here until someone comes to stop me. Or unless maybe they get more troops here at the Iron Isles to start sieging Iron Isles Islands. Uh, so if they get a lot of troops here, I'm going to move my troops back to... Oh, they kind of already are. So let's do that first, actually. This is going to take a long time for me to siege this. First, I'm going to attack these 5,000, and then I'm going to go home to, uh, to defeat the invaders. So I'm going to take out these dicks first. Uh, these 5,000 dicks here who are dead as disco and they don't even realize. 
And then I'm going to get on my ships and go defend my land. And that might be enough to win the war. Somehow my war score is going down despite me having not lost the battle yet. I still have all 12,000 troops that I started the game with. But somehow I'm losing the war. If anyone understands this game better than I do, which I'm sure plenty of you do, please let me know how the fuck that is happening. Because I have done nothing but kick ass across the board. And somehow he has millions of troops left. I'm going to kill these 5,000, go down, kill the other 6,000 that I saw on the mainland, and then hopefully this dick is raw. And I can get this bitch on his knees and take the Westerlands, because that's all I want right now. So these 5,000 are dead. That's what I know right now. I'm just going to get my ships ready to move on to the next one, like Jay-Z. My war score keeps going down while I'm winning battles. What the hell is going on here? This is absolute absurdity. Is Tywin Lannister writing the war score right now? Because this is some bullshit. What the hell is happening to me? Alright, well, in my battles that somehow is still decreasing my war score, I caught another Highborn Prisoner. So, I mean, since I'm losing the war score, I'm going to have to show the Iron Isles who's really winning this war. And treat my prisoners with the respect they deserve. They are getting drowned, and as is the way of the Drowned God. And you are dead, buddy. Dead, dead, dead. Alright, so let's see where we're going now, because... I think the only way that I'm going to keep winning this war score is to take castles in the Westerlands. Because what I'm doing right now, I'm completely routing their troops. So they have no troops to really even pose a fight against me anymore. But I haven't taken any castles of theirs yet. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to take uh, this island next, uh, Fair Isle. Uh, which is actually a really good post for the Ironborn. Because I can build a fleet there uh, with a, uh, with a, a harbor. Um, so I can build a fleet there once I take it. And what's cool about these Ironborn invasions is you personally keep the lordship of any castle you take yourself. So if I have Victorian Greyjoy lead this host at Fair Isle, once I get the Iron Isles, or once I get the uh, the Westerlands for winning the war, Fair Isle will belong to the Greyjoys, me personally. So that's a really uh, cool advantage you have. Uh, it's a way to strategically pick what castles you take. So that's a really cool advantage, and these 4,000 Westerland troops are trying to rally, and I almost want them to, to rally a little bit. I want them to become one big stack so I can just wipe them all out at once, because I keep taking out these little stacks and they keep coming back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Fair Isle, I'm going to cut out <laughs> that little spoiler that just came up, that Feast for Crow, or that Dance of Dragons spoiler that does not need to be in here, I'm going to cut that out, and then I'm going to cut back once I've taken Fair Isle, so join me then. Alright, so I took Fair, Fair Castle, which actually brought me back up to 78%, so I feel like that's something that I was missing, is actually taking some Westerland castles from them. So now they have to take this back, so I'm going to continue sieging this until I take the whole island. Uh, and once I take this whole island, I might actually win the war, because they've got some troops up here. Yep, there's the Westwood victory, that brings me up to 83%, and once I take the next one, that might actually do it. Uh, there is Fair Isle, uh, so that's 84%, and that's getting me really close. See, Victorian's right here, taking even more castles, and the more that I get... See, I can probably just attack them here. Yep. All right. Ship watch. Okay. All right. So I took that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to march right here to Tarbeck Hall and uh, see what I can do to take some castles actually on the mainland. So I can take out these troops here, which helps too. Um, oh, no. Dagmar Clefjaw. He was one of my best generals, and uh, he got injured in, in, uh, in combat and I guess knocked his head too hard. Now he's incapable, no longer able to fight. He went the Ironborn way. He did. True and honorable warrior. All right, so I'm going to take Case. That's the next. Uh, that's the next castle I'm going to take is Case. Uh, they've got 2,000 troops here, about 2,700 actually. So killing them will also help me. And then uh, not only on top of that, but once I take the castle, that might be enough to win the war. So we'll see what happens. This is the war that, or the battle that I knew I was going to win. So I'll come back once the siege is over. All right, I'm at 97% now. So uh, we are winding down into the uh, waning hours of this war here, gentlemen. And ladies, uh, so I am here uh, playing the Greyjoys right now, about to take the Westerlands. And what's cool about the Westerlands is I I've become an old man fighting this war. This has not been an easy war. Now, I'll check on Westeros in a minute and see what else is going on around the world, because I know Stannis took the Iron Throne uh, while I've been fighting this war. I'm at 97%, and Tywin's about ready to lick boot. Uh, and once I take the Westerlands, which I just have, you're about to see what's going to happen, because it's pretty interesting. Uh, you literally vassalize them, which means that they become part of the Iron Isles, but they all keep their lordships. So Tywin will be my bannerman. He'll surrender to me. He's not going to be happy with it, and he will immediately, almost immediately, plot insurrection. Because he is now my bannerman and the lord of the Westerlands. And as I mentioned here, I took Fair Isle. So here's what I usually do when I take the Westerlands. Is I'm going to give the lordship of Fair Isle to someone loyal to me. For example, my brother. Or maybe I could give it to my son, which is what I'm going to do. 
I'm going to give uh, Farah to my son and marry my son to... Uh, well, my son can figure out who he wants to marry because there's no one I have in particular. So Theon Greyjoy, I'm going to grant the Lordship of Fair Isle. And with Fair Isle, I'm going to give him the entire West. So I'm going to give him that first, which makes him a Lord of Fair Isle. And then I'm going to give him the Kingdom of the Westerlands, which gives him everything in the West. And he's my heir, so I don't really have to worry about him stealing things from me. Because even when I die, I'm going to become him anyway. Uh, is the way this game works. Unless someone else wins the King's Moot. But I've voted for him and my other uh, my other captains have voted for him. So I think I'm going to win the King's Moot as the um, when that time comes. So what I can do here to kind of keep the uh, keep the Westerlands loyal is give the Westerlands some honorary titles. Because, you know, uh, I guess I can't do that. So that's not what I would do. That's what Theon is doing right now is giving the Westerlands honorary titles. So what I can do is actually keep Theon happy. And that will keep the Westerlands happy for the most part until the Westerlands plot insurrection, but at least when they do, I'll have the full force of the Iron Isles behind me. So I'm just giving away my honorary titles here. This playthrough is just about winding down. I just want to check on Westeros here. Um, I can finally unraise my troops, which will save me a lot of money. I, off screen, I already uh, took out a loan from the Iron Bank, which uh, is not <laughs> really becoming of the Ironborn. But hey, look at this. The Ironborn have a kingdom now. I took the goddamn Westerlands from the fucking Lannisters. Here's Tywin licking boot to the, the fucking Greyjoys. Can you imagine that? And Tyrion is imprisoned by Stannis, apparently. And Jaime is still Lord Commander to Stannis. And hey, look at this. Bronn became a member of the Kingsguard. So that's a cool little thing that happened. Well, let's see what else happened with the Kingsguard. So Bronn became Kingsguard. The Hound is still Kingsguard. Uh, the rest of the Kingsguard suck or were killed. Uh, so let's check, let's check out Westeros while I was winning my shit. So Stannis became the king on the Iron Throne. He is still fighting Robb Stark. Um, oh, no, he's not. That's someone else. Uh, so Robb Stark, I guess, either surrendered or... Uh, oh, it was imprisoned by Stannis. So Robb Stark decided, no, I'm going to keep being king of the north and was imprisoned by Stannis. He married Jane Westerling, just like in the books, and had a daughter, Mira Stark, uh, who was a good-looking baby, apparently. And then uh, Sansa Stark is in hiding, so I'm guessing she was kidnapped by, uh, by Littlefinger or rescued, however you'd like to look at it. And the Stark brothers are safe and sound in Winterfell. Uh, so I guess it's up to Stannis to decide what happens with Rob. Uh, up here in the north, it looks like Bowen Marsh... Or I'm sorry, Alistair Thorne is still the Lord Commander. He is fighting a war against Man... No, against nobody, apparently. So he won his war against Mance Raider and, and uh, maybe the White Walkers, even. Uh, down here in Dorne, everything's looking uh, pretty damn good. And in the Reach, it looks like everything's looking fine. So Stannis came out well... Um, over here in the Vale, it's still the little boy. And over here, Hoster Tully was also imprisoned by Stannis. So Stannis made everyone else his bitch except me. Robb Stark got the aid of me to fight the Westerlands and made nothing of it. And the Ironborn took what was theirs and paid the iron price for the Westerlands. So that gold is ours. And it looks like Euron never came home, which I guess works in my favor. <laughs> and then uh, Victorian led a many of my battles and was very successful. Uh, so he was my main bitch on this playthrough. Uh, so that worked out very well for me in general. Uh, Balon Greyjoy is now the king on the Iron Throne with Theon set to take over. Theon is trying to keep, do his best to keep hold of uh, keep hold of the Westerlands. He might actually, even if I played through this, uh, challenge me since he's got all the Westerland troops loyal to him. And uh, I probably should have had Asha leading some troops while I was doing that. Apparently she married Andar Royce, which I did not arrange. Andar Royce was uh, a, a son of uh, Jan Royce who was killed by some Randy. And uh, apparently, I guess, Asha must have been fighting for Stannis, maybe? Or I don't know what the hell happened there. Um, but anyway, yep, that was uh, my playthrough is the Greyjoys, my favorite house in, in Game of Thrones, so I'm glad I got to do that here for you guys. Um, next week, I'm not totally set on who I'm playing as, uh, so if you have a request, send it to me, and I'll uh, join on that. Um, I'm thinking maybe Mance Raider or Cal Drogo or maybe Littlefinger. I'm kind of all over the place, so we'll see what I do there. Um, but playing as the Greyjoys was fun, took some land, took what was mine, paid the iron price, and I did not sow not once. You saw me. Video evidence. I did not sow once. So join me next week. Later, bitches.